Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be making stuffed peppers. I'm going to be using green and red today. Stay tuned. So to start off, what you will need is I have some uh, venison from the buck I shot this last fall. I'm going to be making four um, stuffed peppers using onions. And then I'm also going to be using cheese, of course. We're from Wisconsin. <laughs> and then um, some meat sauce, meat pasta sauce. So I'm just going to be cutting the tops off so you can stuff them. And then you cut this out. Let's take that out. You're not going to be using that. And then I'm going to go ahead and rinse this out. So I'm going to repeat that for the next couple peppers I have. Obviously the green ones are going to be better because they're bigger. I'm going to get more substance out of them. But this is what I got. I'm just going to dispose of the tops and rinse the other three out. So the next step is to put your peppers in your water that is already heated up for two minutes. So now I'm going to be cutting up the onion. It's just your standard onion. Quick trick. Um, place a wet paper towel in the corner of the cutting board so it goes onto the, this wet surface and not your eyes. I'm just going to be chopping this up. Personally, I like my onions a little chunkier, so that's what I'm going to be doing. So I just mixed my onions into the venison I started already and we're going to pour the cheese and the meat sauce in with that also. So I'm going to be pouring in the meat sauce. Yeah. And I did add some mesquite flavoring to your world. You cook it all you like it. Alright, your next step is spooning your mixture that you just concocted into the peppers. So this is what that looks like. I added a ton of cheese just because I am addicted. <laughs> it's a big chunk of onion in there. Just gonna pack these full. It's gonna be delicious. Mm. 
Another option you can add to these is rice. Personally, I don't have that in my pantry right now. So I just kind of winged it. Just gonna rest. <laughs> rest on each other. So good. So my oven is preheated to 350 already and we're gonna put them in. So the last step you'll want to do before you pop them in um, for 350 at 10 minutes with foil on it and then you'll take the foil off and bake for another 15 minutes or until tender. So I'm just going to wrap these up. Real tightly so they don't fall over. So my oven is ready set for 350 and these are ready to go in for 10 minutes. That's what we're this up and we're going to take them out see how they look. That one spilled over but look pretty good. It says to put them in for about 15 more minutes, so I'm going to do that without the tin foil. Alright you guys, they look good. Um, I just did it for 13 because I don't want to wait. Seems to be a trend with me. Not a very patient person. As my brother would call it, Sarah's putting on the feed bag. We're gonna dig in here. It always says cheese on top, but I added about half a bag of cheese to this already. Mm. So good. Definitely will be making this again. It's easy, healthy. If you're looking to make healthier meals like I am, it's a good option. But yeah, it's made with my venison, my buck that I shot this past year, my big unicorn. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more.